dams can usually help regulate water levels during drought and floods, but they can also at times negatively impact wildlife. A recently completed dam in the Chippewa National Forest will improve both areas. Mel Meyer reports. So welcome everyone, welcome to the Mississippi River. The this Forest Service and its project partners celebrated the dam and a new fishing dock at a ribbon cutting ceremony today. I think it's gonna benefit all the, all the, the public, tribal and non-tribal. An inspection of the previous barrier type dam in 2011 found significant structural deficiencies and posed a problem for walleye and white sucker spawning. Like in most flow conditions they could not uh, navigate past the uh, previous structure. One of the partners, the Department of Natural Resources, found a barrier dam at the beginning of a river eliminates about 40 percent of fish. Uh, conversely, when we remove those barriers, we see those fish and mussels come back. Through his work at the DNR, Adlin also found that one dam was responsible for 19 deaths. This design eliminates the, that, that uh, hydraulic uh, roller that can be so dangerous, so it's a safer place. Looking forward, the rolling rapid structure will also help manage water levels to a more natural flow, unlike before. Uh, we've had a good season so far, um, been able to stay right around our summer uh, target elevations, um, so the structures performed uh, as we had hoped. These levels will carry a profound impact downstream. Uh, there are over 17 million people who rely on drinking water that comes from the Mississippi watershed, so no small number of uh, people are impacted by the Mississippi River. The Forest Service hopes that this dam serves as a standard for other projects nationwide. In the Chippewa National Forest, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. The final cost for the project was just over $1.1 million. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.